This video has provided a supplementary material for courses taught at Howard Community College. And in this video, I want to talk about the composition of functions. So let's say you're given two functions. You've got function f, and this is f of x equals x plus 3, and function g, and that's g of x equals x squared minus 5. And then you're told to find this thing. Inside parentheses, you've got an F, a small closed circle, and then a G. And then you close that parentheses, open up another one, and put an X in there. This is called the composition of these two functions. We read this as F composed G of X. Now, another way to write this, which is much more convenient, would be F, and then F to the F you want parentheses, of g, and after g you want parentheses, of x, and then you're going to close those parentheses. So this is f of g of x. And all we're going to do is we're going to work our way through this by starting in the innermost parentheses. We're going to find what g of x is. Okay? So we're told what g of x is. g of x is x squared minus 5. So I'm going to take this g of x and replace it with x squared minus 5. So that means I'm going to have f of x squared minus 5. Now I have to find out what this is. Well, I know what f of x is. f of x is x plus 3. And if I change what's inside those parentheses, instead of an x, I've got an x squared minus 5. What that means is I'm going to take the x plus 3, and wherever I have an x, I'll replace it with x squared minus 5. So f of x squared minus 5 is going to be, I've got this x here, I'm replacing that with x squared minus 5, and then plus 3. Then I'll just evaluate what this is. I don't need the parentheses, so I can turn this into x squared minus 5 plus 3, and that just becomes x squared minus 2. Okay, so f composed g of x turns into f of g of x. That's just rewriting your original problem. Then we plug in what g of x is, which we've been given, and then we find the f of that x squared minus 5, f of what g of x was. Now, if we rearrange these, if we, if we try to find out what g compose f of x is, we're very likely going to get a different answer. In other words, this is not like multiplication where it doesn't matter what order you do things in. It. So here we have g compose f of x. I'm going to turn that into g of f of x. So I want to start out by finding f of x, which I know f of x is x plus 3. So I'm going to replace f of x with x plus 3. That means I have g of x plus 3. My g of x function tells me to take whatever I have inside these parentheses here and square it and subtract, subtract 5. Okay, so I'm going to take this x plus 3 and square it and subtract 5. So let's square x plus 3. That's like x plus 3 times x plus 3. If we foil that out, we're going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 5. And then we'll combine this 9 and the negative 5. So I'll have x squared plus 6x, 9 minus 5 is positive 4. Okay, very different answer than what I got for the, for the f of g of x. Okay, so going through this one more time, what you do, I'll do the g compose f of x. What we do is we rewrite this as a function of a function, g of f of x. Then we know what, what that innermost function is, f of x, because we're given that. So we take whatever f of x is, in this case it was x plus 3, and we, we put that where the f of x was. 
So now we have g of x plus 3. Now all we do is take that g of x function and replace the x with x plus 3, which gives us, in this case, x plus 3, that whole expression squared, minus 5. And then we simplify that, and we get our answer. Okay, so I hope this helps. Take care. I'll see you next time.